Hi everyone, Andrew from Thinkific here. Today we're going to be chatting about what you need to do to make an engaging Facebook community. So we talked yesterday about why it is important to be able to create a Facebook group and build a community around your online course. But how do you do it? You know, I don't want to lie to you guys and say it takes two clicks, no problem, you're going to be doing it fine in, in seconds. It takes work and this is absolutely a marketing channel that takes a little bit of time to kind of grow and mature uh, until it pays dividends. But once you get to that point, absolutely, you're going to be sitting back and laughing. We saw it at Thinkific. I was in charge of Thinkific when it was a very small group uh, and it was a really laborious on me to be able to actually keep it up and, and make sure I was creating engaging content for it. Now we've gotten to a point and the Facebook group is so large, there's so many conversations on it that I'm able to kind of step back a little bit, be in there and do some activities we'll, we'll chat about today, but otherwise you're totally able to create an engaging Facebook group and we'll talk about how right now. So first off, create a niche topic. People need to know why they're in the group. Similarly, when you go to a party or you go to a meeting, you want to know kind of like why we're all here, we're all hanging out, what should I be talking about? So the more niche your topic is in your Facebook group and the more definitive kind of you create this group to be for, the more people are going to know what I can ask and how I can communicate in that Facebook group. So our Facebook group is focused on uh, online course creators, what they can do, tips and tricks to help them create course content, uh, and everything that they would have troubles with in a journey of creating a course. So that's pretty specific. You know, there's entrepreneurs that might jump into one of our uh, groups and they have tons of things that they could be talking about. Maybe it's profit sharing, maybe it's different marketing channels, uh, and they can do that in other groups, but our group is really focused down at specifically on online course creators and all the challenges that they face. So I push it to you to look at your industry and say, you know, what should I be doing? Uh, where does my online course fit in? What topic am I teaching about? And what kind of community can I build around it and topic can I build around it to make sure it has like-minded uh, users in it? So first of all, create a really niche topic. Second of all, it's really good for you to start asking questions to prompt discussion. People are shy. At the beginning of a party, as a party creator, you'd have to turn the music on, get some snacks out, do things that you can actually do to pump people up and, 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 and make it warm environment for them to, to chat. So the same thing goes in a Facebook group. When I started our Facebook group, I had to put questions down. And you know what, don't worry if you don't feel like you're getting a lot of answers. It's a little bit of a slow process. So when I first started our Facebook group, when I would put questions out of, you know guys, what's your trouble this week? What are you facing? Maybe I'd get two or three answers. Um, and don't be discouraged by that. Say, oh, you know what, it's fine. I got two or three answers this week. Engage with the answers that you do, do get, but then as you move on, uh, kind of look for more. So start prompting questions. And a really great way for you to be able to do that is to create theme days. And this is a really good tip for you to save yourself time. So I created Work It Wednesdays in our group, uh, and you could create Work It Wednesdays, you could create Timely Tuesdays or whatever you wanna do, you don't even need alliterations, but create some kind of theme day where there's an expectations of what's happening every week. It really helps your customer base uh, expect what's coming and build that uh, expectation so that they start participating in future weeks. But also, it doesn't make you every single day go, oh God, what am I gonna talk about today? I need to be exciting, I need to be engaging. So build yourself out some theme days. Uh, and so, you know what, today, Wednesdays, we always talk about blank, or we do a Q&A on Thursday. And that really, really helps you uh, build expectations in your group and prompt discussions as you move forward. Just be human. I kind of always say creating a Facebook group, again, is just like throwing a party. When you throw a party, you know, you want to create engagement, you want to be natural. And how you communicate in your Facebook group is how all of the other users in that group are going to recognize what you do and then also match and follow you. So if you're really helpful, if you are engaging, if you're constantly there and answering questions, your group is gonna see that and start matching that. If you're kind of short-sighted in your answers, or you're quick to dismiss people, that's the uh, tonality that's gonna happen in your group, uh, and you'll see it you know, last into the future. So really build what you wanna build and be that person and be human. 
Thank people for joining your group. When people do make comments, make sure you're in there, make sure you're engaging them right away because it will pay dividends long into the future. It's also really helpful if you can make exclusive content for your Facebook group. Uh, it's gonna entice people to actually come to your group and that's where you want them because Facebook is structured to be able to promote conversation the best of pretty much any other platform. So if you're able to drive people to your group and give them exclusive content, they'll stay there and then you'll be able to harness that conversations in the future. I've done this countless times where I'll email our entire mail list and say, you know what guys, if you're interested in this, uh, cheat sheet or you're interested in this uh, PDF downloadable tear sheet uh, then you're able to kind of get it in the Facebook group and I always see the flood of people join our Facebook group uh, and then be really excited about the content I build and then have a place to actually discuss the content that I build so try it out create exclusive content for your Facebook group uh, it is a really great strategy for you as well so that's it. Today we talked about why and how you can make an engagement Facebook group. You want to have a niche topic. You want to actually be in there and start conversations yourself. Ask questions, even if you're not getting a lot of answers right away. Just ask questions. Create some theme days so it's easier for you. And if possible, just create exclusive content that lives in Facebook uh, and you'll be able to see your Facebook grow and soar. So a lot of times a Facebook group doesn't happen by accident. It's actually up to the administrator and what they do in terms of creating that Facebook group, who they let in, who they reject, and how they actually administrate it. So Thursday we're gonna be chatting about seven different tips that you as a Facebook administrator can do to make sure that your Facebook group is successful. I'll see you on Thursday.